Today we will be exploring the role of food as a fuel source. The three main food sources we need for fuel are carbohydrates, fats and proteins. Carbohydrates in the forms of sugar and starch are broken down into glucose. The glucose can be used for exercise immediately or stored in the muscles or liver as glycogen for future exercise. The body can store enough glycogen for 90 to 120 minutes of vigorous exercise. Once glycogen stores are depleted, they need to be replaced before more strenuous exercise. Foods rich in carbohydrates include breads, pasta, rice, fruits, vegetables and legumes. Using carbohydrates as a fuel source is the most efficient way to produce energy, as it requires only a small amount of oxygen. Now into fats. Fat is the most concentrated source of energy, providing more than twice the amount of energy available from carbohydrates. Fat breaks down into fatty acids, which are transported through the blood to the muscles for fuel. Fat stores are virtually unlimited. Even a lean athlete has enough fat to produce a thousand hours of energy for a marathon run. Although this sounds great, more oxygen is required for energy production, making it less efficient than carbohydrates. By using fat as a fuel source in conjunction with carbohydrates, glycogen stores can be spared, delaying the onset of fatigue. Healthy fats such as nuts, seeds, fish, dairy, lean meats and avocados should be included in your daily diet. However, unhealthy fats such as biscuits, pastries, chips and deep fried foods should not. Now on to proteins. They are not used as a main source of fuel to provide energy. However, they are used to help to repair and rebuild muscles after exercise. Proteins are mainly used for strength-based activities such as weightlifting. Protein is only used for fuel in the late stages of prolonged exercise. Good sources of protein include eggs, dairy, turkey, fish, chicken, beef, nuts and seeds. In order to have a well-balanced diet for optimal exercise, 55% should be carbohydrates, 12 to 15% of proteins and less than 30% fats. In summary, for carbohydrates, it comes in the form of sugar and starch. It is primarily used as a main source of fuel. It is the most effective producer of energy. It produces enough energy for 90 to 120 minutes of vigorous exercise. Less oxygen is needed for production and cereals, breads, pastas, fruits, rice, vegetables and legumes are the best source of carbohydrates. In summary for fats, it is the most concentrated source of fuel. It breaks down into fatty acids. The stores are virtually unlimited. It can fuel low, low to moderate intensity activities. Equal amounts of oxygen is required and it can aid to reserve glycogen stores. In summary for proteins, its main job is to repair and rebuild muscle. It is predominantly used for strength activities such as weightlifting. It is rarely used as a source of fuel for energy. Fish, lean meats, eggs, dairy, nuts and seeds are good sources of protein. 12 to 15% of your diet should be proteins and it is the most important for recovery after exercise.